Hello everyone, I'm Katrina and today I'm going to be talking about top end filters in Sigma. This is something that I often see as confusing to new users or beginners, but I'm going to talk about how you should be thinking about what you're asking Sigma to do and hopefully that'll help you understand how and where to apply these filters. So a lot of times when folks think about adding a top end filter, let's say for example they want to show the top 10 uh, states by sales, as you can see my bar chart is demonstrating here. But come over to store state and they'll apply a top end filter. I'm just going to change this to a top end. And we can see that we're returned 10 states, but they aren't the correct states that we're looking for. This is not exactly what we want to see. What we actually need to do is ask Sigma to return the top end or the top 10 values, regardless of what state or what dimension they're associated with. So when I come over here and I apply or add a filter to my sales amount, I'm gonna add a filter, change this to a top N, and we can see now that I have my top performing state, California, and nine other states where I'm seeing my top 10 states. So again, just keep in mind when you're thinking about how and where to apply a top end filter, you want to apply it by the value or the, the sum or the average or the, uh, the value that you want to rank or show the top 10 of, not the dimension, not the value, not the state that you want to see them listed by. Hope this helps.